What is up you guys, I'm Charmix, today I'm gonna be reacting to Pouring Lava Into My Pool by the Backyard Scientist. Now, I haven't reacted to a Backyard Scientist video in freaking forever, but I love the Backyard Scientist. I, I've said this before, but he really reminds me of my science teacher in high school. And, uh, yeah, I, I freaking love science class. But anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. And, uh, without any further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. You know, I've always wanted to see lava for myself, but I've kind of had this irrational fear of volcanoes from when I was a kid. But anyway, today we're going to be trying to make lava for ourselves by melting down some rocks. Then we're gonna pour it in the pool. We're gonna see what happens if you jump on lava. Will you sink in or float back up to the top? Jump on lava while it's still like really hot? Pretty sure that would get you to the hospital. Also, isn't when you mix lava with water you get like obsidian? Top, and we're gonna pour it on a couple other things. Let's get started. Yeah, I thought like a volcano could just happen anywhere, like just erupt in the middle of the street. Because I watched a movie and they were just appearing in the middle of the city. You watched a movie called Volcano? Well, I guess it technically kind of can happen because I mean underneath the earth It's lava everywhere, so it can come up But I mean the odds of it coming up randomly like that or I would say do not exist I thought it could happen <laughs> anyway uh, What we're going to be doing is melting down these red lava rocks and these are actually like rocks from volcanic activity I don't know if this can get hot enough to melt lava rocks, so we're gonna try I know it can melt copper and aluminum, but these melt a lot higher. They're like 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's really hot. That's almost melting steel. Sounds very safe if you ask me. Well, let's get started. First, let's fill up this crucible with some lava rocks, put it right here in the forge. Now all we have to do is turn off the gas, fire it up, and then it's just a waiting game. And if you're wondering why the propane tank is taking a bath, it's because it'll get so cold because it's using so much gas, it'll start to ice over on the side. So we need to keep it in water, otherwise it'll lose pressure and it won't work anymore. Oh, that's cool. I would never expect that. Now let's get started. One hour later. I think it's ready now. Let, let me stick my stick in here. And they use the majority of the propane tank. And see how molten it is. Oh, that's oh. molten. You can see it jiggling. Oh, that's lava, all right. Come over a little bit more. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's molten. All right, here we go. That's cool. This. That's cool. Could you imagine if he stuck that thing in there and he pulls it out and the rod that he's using is all like just, it's gone because it just melted away? All right, we'll save some of that. All right, here we go. You ready? This is how you make obsidian, everybody. Take notes. This is how you make obsidian. And people said my Minecraft knowledge was useless. Oh, it's coming out. Here we go. There's gonna be a lot of like steam, I think, right? Oh. Whoa! Oh, it's bubbling! Oh, wow. It's like floating. Wow. Whoa! Did you see it like bubbling and expanding? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, go get it. It actually does look like obsidian. Is obsidian a real thing? Because I thought it was just in Minecraft. Maybe it is an actual, like, real thing in the world. I don't know. That was our first try, and it didn't work out so good because this furnace didn't get hot enough. And that's because the, the burner I was using just wasn't hot enough, and it was kind of a gas hog. So I made a new burner. Let's try melting some lava for real this time. What is that thing he's using? That I don't know what that kelm or whatever the friggin' is. What's it made out of? Because that looks like rock or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Ready for the wolf? Wow, this is super nice. What's that like hair stuff? That is. That looks like bolted. Yeah, what is that? Look, there's like hairs that are just like flailing in the wind. Look at that. Hair stuff. Look at them. That is. Are those strands of lava or something that's like melted and it's kind of pulled itself into being that thin where it looks like hair? That looks like molten refractor cement. Oh, great. Oh, so it's cement inside of this thing. Okay. Wow. I just can't believe how hot it is. Alright. Oh, gosh. 
Here we go. Oh, wow. There's something really mesmerizing looking at that. Like, there's something just really beautiful, and, like, you just kind of want to keep looking at it. Kind of like how, you know, if you look at a fire, you know, if you go camping or whatever, you have a fire. It's kind of like that. I don't know. It kind of has the same effect on me. You just kind of want to keep looking at it. And it's really relaxing at the same time. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool view. Why is it shredding to little bits? Like, you'd think it would stay all together. I was hoping that we'd get like a piece of art out of it. But it's more like, it's just turned straight to sand. There's a chunk. How is that bucket, this bucket thing that he's using, what is it made out of? Because I'm surprised it hasn't melted because in order to melt the, the uh, lava stones or whatever it has to be so hot he said that it might be hot enough to melt steel and if this thing's made out of steel how is it not melting it was in there with it oh gosh just your local pool guy oh my gosh it's is it coming apart? Yeah. It's coming apart. All right, for the next experiment, we're going to see what happens if you were to jump or fall into a volcano or something like that. Some people... If you were to jump or fall into a volcano, I'm pretty sure they would, like, sacrifice people into volcanoes, and, you know, those people didn't get out alive, so, I, you know, nothing good could happen, I'm going to assume. We'll think if you fall in, you'll sink right to the bottom, or maybe you'll hit it and just go splat right on top of the lava. So we're going to be testing it out with this piece of chicken here. I'm going to take it out and throw it in there and see what happens. Come the chicken's not heavy enough. The chicken's not heavy enough. Because I molten lava is basically, it's rock, right? Like, what I think, would, if you were to land on it, a full human from, like, a high distance, because if you're in a volcano, you're at the top, right? So, you know, if they are throw you in, if you were to hit it, it'd be like, it'd be like hitting cement. So, you, you'd be pfft, instantly. And I don't think you'd sink into it right away, either, because of uh, its density. But then again, if you're just putting a little piece of chicken on it, who knows what's going to happen? It's so light. It, 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 won't, it won't go in at all. It's so light. It would have to float on top with a little piece of chicken. I have a prediction that this is going to smell really bad. Orbit. Look, how's that? How's this container not falling apart? Look at it. Like it's as, almost as red as the lava itself, God, or yellow. It's, it's that's probably one of the brightest things I've ever seen. It almost looks kind of delicious. Like it looks like there's like it looks like there's cheese on top of it, and it's kind of like, you know, when you put cheese in the microwave or something, and it gets kind of like crispy and crunchy, and you just want to eat it. That's what it kind of looks like. However, this is the deadly cheese. This is the forbidden fruit cheese. It looks like cheese. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Oh my dumb gosh. Now let's try for the chicken. Let's see what happens to it. You know how it makes those little like... Do you see these little strands right here? What would happen if one of those were like come across your arm? Would it cut your arm off? I don't even want to think of it. Like that, that would probably hurt so much. Sink or is it going to float? It's gonna cook. Hey, you gotta cook chicken. It. It's on fire. Whoa! What is that? You're burning the chicken. Whoa, you know what? This actually cooks it pretty good because it forms like a hard shell on top. Yep, so that's what would happen if you fell into a pit of death or a pit of lava. Same thing. You know, you wouldn't go straight through and sink to the bottom. You'd probably just sit on top and end up looking like this piece of chicken. You'd probably just, you know, BAM! From just a fall. Because in the, uh, especially in the movies, I don't know how they did it in real life, but in the movies, when they throw someone into a volcano, they'd do it from the top of the volcano, and, you know, you'd be falling a great distance, then when you finally hit the lava, you'd be hitting it, it's like jumping off of a building. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't survive. Ugh. Alright, let's put this back in and- Try eating the chicken now. Try eating the chicken. It looks like it's cooked. And try one more thing. Now we're gonna try pouring the lava on glass and aluminum to see what happens. And we have a little cowboy versus Indian setup right here too. Anyway, so we'll see if it can melt through the glass and melt through the aluminum, or both. I'll probably pour it on everything. This will be interesting. Yeah. However, you need a fire extinguisher. You need a fire. Look at around you. Look at this stuff's. This stuff's primed to catch on fire. Organized chaos. 
Come on, lava. Hey, they're so slow. Wow. Oh, wow. that's so cool. That's satisfying. Let me get some on the aluminum, too. Wow, the glass is cool. The glass is holding up. Oh, look at it twisting like that. <gasps> wow! <gasps> Friggin' jump scared me. It blew the glass off. Ah, that's awesome. That just exploded! I was not expecting the glass to blow up like that. It was pretty awesome, though. Oh, look at it twisting like that. Wow! I'm surprised that uh, the aluminum didn't melt or something. Which I'm guessing it's good because if it did, then you would have a forest fire problem. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I've, I know I've been reacting to a backyard side this video in a long time, but I really enjoy this. I really like this a lot. And uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. I don't know how that container he was using managed to hold up to the heat because it looked like it was gonna melt apart at any second. I'm just surprised it didn't. And uh, doing what he did at the end there by pouring this stuff onto you know the plate and whatnot, you know, that could have gone down really bad if it went through the metal, like the aluminum, because that ground looked like it could catch fire and then, you know, he lives in like, in like an area where it could like all burn down, so. Thank goodness it did not. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share a friend. If you do it, subscribe to the other family. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to the Backyard Scientist. The link's in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Boop.